What's up guys and gals and welcome to Little Nightmares, a game that I'm actually not super experienced with. As I understand it, it's a game where you solve puzzles while being chased by giant Tim Burton-esque monsters. It seems like it's got some kind of like David Lynchian aspect to it that might be sort of interesting. And so I wanted to invite you here for a short little preview playthrough of it and give you my thoughts on the way that the game goes. So anyways, let's invite ourselves to some Little Nightmares, yeah? Join me in the sweet sleep of terror. Uh, empty save slot there, sounds good. Let's do this thing. Spooky swirlies. The hell is that? Yeah, that's a little weird. I'm not sure I like the distending properties of whatever that is, but it's apparently getting closer and we have no choice. Oh, it's a lady. She's turning around. Gotcha. Okay, I see it. Well, on the plus side, we got a raincoat, so that's not so bad. It looks like I'm in control right now. I can press space to jump, and then WASD appears to control my little character. It looks like I can sprint if I really want to by holding down shift. Can I interact with these cans at all? Oh, I can. I can, I can play a little fun game. Oh, she trips a little bit. That makes me sad, though. Okay, so you can trip a little bit on the cans. Let's be on our way. I don't know why we were sleeping inside of a suitcase. Apparently, we were ready. Oh, there's things in the darkness. That's never a good sign. Well, those little pointy-headed mushroom monsters come back. You might be my only friends. Are you friendly mushroom monsters or are you angry mushroom monsters? What is this? Oh, we can press F and we can light things. Oh, we've got a lighter. Okay, so F is our lighter. Gotcha. That would have been one of those things that I would have liked to have known about. Does the lighter have limited fuel? Wow, those lighting effects, though. That looks beautiful. They did a really good job with that. Okay, so turn the lighter out real fast. I thought I was just going to wander in darkness. I had accepted it already. I was like, well, you know, scary horror game in general. It'll be mostly walking around in blackness. There's no point in them doing good textures because you're never going to see any of them. What is this right here? Can I do anything with that? Ah, I can. Oh, the mouse does play in. Okay, so left click allows me to grab onto interactable objects. Can I crouch through here? Yes, I can by holding down control. Okay. Let's crouch through this little grate right here, and I'm going to turn on my fire because I can't see worth a damn right now, and we'll see what we can do. Creepity, creepity, sneakity, sneakity. Looks like we can jump up to here. Luckily, we don't have that diehard problem where there's tons of, like, glass and whatnot in here. Water doesn't put out our fire, so that's a good thing to know. I thought that that was going to be, like, a little area that taught the player, essentially, that if water falls on your flame, it puts it out. So there's a big-ass door right there. Let's move away from the big ass door where the hell are we right now we're in some kind of like steel oh it's a chain factory got you ah uh, you know we just produce chains it's pretty much what we do all day every day just inhaling iron and steel into our lungs and producing chains so that you guys can tow shit pull stumps out of your front yards can i open this oh there's a thing in the hallway over there it doesn't look like i can actually open these it looks like the character... What the hell are you? I don't feel like this is a good plan. Oh, it's like a geisha lady. What's up? Oh, it's a statue. Can I go through this wall right here? It looked like the wall was hollow for a brief moment. Can I knock over this broom? No. Well, I want to knock over a broom. So we've got like a maggot couch over there. Just baby flies chilling on the couch watching that Nickelodeon. Those are actually cigarettes, I think. Why are we so small, and why is the world so big? This concerns me. Can't really do much with the big pot right there. This is casting light right here. But my assumption is that I can't go through there. Alright, well... Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. I can't jump to there. Can I go underneath here? Oh, you can slide underneath the bed. That's pretty sweet. I assume that that's going to become useful at some point. What point it's going to become useful, I don't know, but... Maybe I got to put the statue right there in the, in the light. Dude, I'm going to be sliding everywhere. I love games with slide animations. We're going to be sliding like crazy. We're going to be sliding like it's the DMs. There you go. Get through there. 
and then we'll race our way off to this side and let's see if we can do anything with this little statuette thing over here like we're able to pick it up can I crouch with it? Oh, I can. Good. Okay, so let's carry the statuette, and we'll see what we can do here. I think this probably goes over here somewhere. I can't tell if that's like a priest or if it's like a geisha lady. I don't know. So we put the geisha lady right there. I can't pull that pot. Can we pull this bucket over here to catch water? No. We can, however, climb up on the couch and get up on the back of it. So there's some hanging chairs up there. Can't move that bucket either. Hmm. I'm at a bit of a loss. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. So I went through the controls, and actually it was supposed to pop up with a tooltip right here that tells you what you're supposed to do, and it didn't. And so we can actually left click to grab a ledge and it just I wasn't aware that you had that power Oh toilet paper good just in case our ass is dirty. We won't be hurting if our ass is dirtin We won't be hurting. Oh, there's a dead guy hanging here just hanging around Just hanging out. He's all choked up. It's okay, man. Life's not that hard Can I jump and grab? Oh, I gotta take his chair. I gotta take the dead guy's chair and move it over here I bet you yep. There we go pull that chair over to here and then we'll open this crazy creepy eyeball door Crazy, creepy eyeball door. I want to open you more and more. All right, so if I go to here, there we go. I can jump and hang on the door until... I'm not liking the way that this is panning. Ew, there's more. No, I got oil between my toesies. You know, it kind of looks like there's a big thing in the background, but I'm assuming that's just the way that the wall is busted. It looks like we can climb up over here, so I would suggest- Ew, I stepped in poo with bare feet! Oh my god, my toenails! It's gonna take so long to clean- This looks like it can be opened. There's like some kind of... Severed feet up at the top of it? Huh. Weird game. Definitely a weird title. So with the door opened, can I fit through this little crack over here? Oh, I can. So it's like a little secret area. Luckily, we're armed with fire. As long as we have fire, I'm sure everything will be okay. Light you up. And what is this little thing? I can pick him up and hug him? That wouldn't be my first inclination. Oh, he's friends with me now. Hooray! We're friends! Friend time, friend time. Gonna meet my end time. I can't climb up right there because there's a thing in the way. There's a propane tank. Hmm. Like, what does this little dude do? Does he do anything special? Like... Huh. I guess I'll bring him with me just in case. This room doesn't appear as though it's got a win criteria right now. I don't think there was anything on that side, so let's swing back to the left here. Oh, his head won't fit through the door. You're too fat, buddy. You gotta lose weight. Oh, now he's sad, though. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult your weight. Can you come with me now? Come with me now! Bow wow 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 chicka wow 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 Nope, can't come through here with me. Alright, well then I assume that that's our only way to go. We gotta figure out how to deal with that propane tank first. There's definitely something we gotta do with that propane tank. Like maybe we can blow it up to get it out of the way? I don't know though, that seems kinda dangerous in an enclosed space. So he's still over here, and he will actually like creep with us it looks like. Oh yeah, he'll do like a little creep animation. You're such a little creep. Ha ha! I figured it out. You can actually climb up the side of this right here past the severed feet. Got it. That took me entirely too long. That is an embarrassing span of just my attention not working. It didn't really look like a ladder to me though, and there were severed feet inside of it. Do you really want to climb on severed feet? Oh god. The hell is that bug thing back there? It's like a giant pinchy bug. There's a hole in the floor right there. Oh shh. 
Ugh. No, absolutely not. We got like some Splatterhouse business going on right now, which is a game that I'm particularly fond of. Good old Splatterhouse. It's too bad the remake was garbage. Splatterhouse was some pretty horrifying shit when I was a kid. That game creeped the hell out of me. I'm gonna jump across to here and go through this weird little gate, and then we've got- Oh, it closed behind me. How did I know that was gonna happen? So now we're enclosed inside of like a... I don't know if I can do anything with this right here. Oh, cool, I can pry a board off. Fantastic. That's actually exactly the sort of thing that I'd be looking for. Uh, there's a lantern in here. Can I light it? Shit on me! Yes. Oh, no. No, 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 yeah! no, 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 and like that, little bugs made of sphincter ate a little girl. Oh, we actually have to figure out what we're going to do in here. Okay. Oh, shit, they got me right there, too. I ran in the wrong direction. So it looks like I have to figure out what I'm doing in here best guess is don't be on the floor oh the door just collapses okay well that's surprising but also kind of not surprising is that a safe spot give me a safe spot there we go and I suppose we'll climb up this way we'll try to get our way back to where we were that might be our shit dude that scared me don't do that man you guys are supposed to be on my team Supposed to be all like squatted up and whatnot. Squad! And you guys are not living up to your squad goals right now. I'm just letting you know. It's a little too dark for this, man. I'm gonna suggest we just stay in one spot. Moving around has not worked out great for us so far. We've been eaten by butt bugs. We've been like dropped down giant holes. Uh, I've had to climb up a refrigerator with severed feet in it. Come on. Ooh, that gave me a little bit of light. Yeah, that'll work. Can open up the shutters here and see if there's any place we can go. Or I can just fall to my death. That's cool, too. Just take a little nap right there. That's fine. Keyboard controls are a tiny bit concerning. They're not, like, super annoying, but they're a little annoying. Little clunky. Still a fun game so far, though. Definitely probably want to play this one with a controller. Okay, so we didn't make that one right there. That's going to be a tight squeeze. I think I'm going to have to jump the center gap. I think going around is not going to work on that one. Definitely a center gap move is in order. Center gap move! Alright, so let's get ready. we got to leap this thing. we got to leap this thing. It's the only way that this works. And then... Slide move! Wah! Yeah, buddy. We managed to make it. Alright, so this is a little weird. We were able to open this thing last time. So maybe I'll give that a... Oh, one of those little things was in there. Ah, just can't seem to lift it, and it doesn't have, like, a latch mechanism or anything that helps it be held up a little bit better. It does look like I can climb up here. What is up here, though? Anything? Nope. Just a long, painful fall on a paper airplane. Fly like paper, get high like planes. Catch me at the corner, I got visas in my name. Oh, something bad is going to happen in this room. What the shit is that thing? Some kind of, like, death mummy thing. Either way, somebody's rolled out a bed sheet for me, so I suggest we climb it like old-school 1905 prison style. Get the hell out of here. Oh, good! She's small enough to fit through the bars. That's good. 
and it looks like we are in some kind of foundry worker's crap shack. Fantastic. We'll light that real fast, will you? Thank you. And then, oh goody, another seeing eye door. That's a big ass rat. Good lord, that's a city quality rat right there. That's one of those rats you see in the town, like just like dragging off a pigeon to its death. Jesus. Oh Christ! I've been electrocuted. You know that there's a difference between shocked and electrocuted? Electrocuted denotes you die, because it's a combination of the words electro and execute. Electrocution is electrical execution, basically. That's what the shortage of the word is. Alternatively, being shocked means you were hit with it and you survived. In case you were wondering how that all works. Uh, it looks like there's some kind of power cable that leads upwards from right there. I don't know. Can I close this door back up? I want to see what's behind it. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we're probably going to have to move this toilet paper crate. This crate OTP, because y'all can't see me. There we go, look around using... Okay. Got it! Why would you put that on a timer? Also, why do you need death-dealing traps on your bathrooms? Like, how frequently are you attacked by things in the bathroom that you need, like, death-level traps in order to make this work? Okay, so that's re-electrified now. There ain't no going back that way. Knock over these blocks because that's half the fun of building shit with blocks is breaking it. Little toy choo-choo over here. Oh, dude, I should have just raced through. Unless they're on a different circuit. If they're on a different circuit, then I doubt that that would have worked, but... I can't pull those out. Doesn't look like I can reach the swings. Man, you guys fancy. You got swings in your room? Okay, so I can't do anything with that just yet. That looks like a button right there, though. No, never mind. It's just a panel. Can I get run over by the choo-choo? Ow! We gotta find another way out of here. I probably should have just raced through, but I didn't think there was gonna be another gate that was on the same circuit. I wonder if there's things in this game where you're just, like, expected to die and go back and try again. Let me kill myself and see what happens there. <laughs> I've gotta kill myself. This trap is too hard. There we go. Let me fry my ass real fast. Get myself all nice and deep fried and crispy. Mmm. Everything I every time I think of like deep fried stuff, I think Long John Silvers for some reason. I don't know. I don't even like Long John Silvers that much. Like it's okay. It's the kind of place that I think you want to go to if you really want to get tetanus from some fish. But like, other than that, for some reason when I think of fried food, I think of Long John Silvers. Ain't that weird? All right, so let's pull this over here, and I'm just gonna try and race it this time. We did have a lot of time to work with right there before it would have killed us. I was expecting it to just barely make it through and then... Wait, what happened? I pulled the switchy thing. Did I not pull it down far enough? I must not have pulled it down far enough. Luckily, we wake up in a bathroom again every single time we die, so... That's a weird variation of the Groundhog Day problem, but I'm willing to live with it. All right, let me drag your big st stinky paper ass over here. And I... There we go. Yeah, I must not have pulled it far enough. Must have screwed the pooch on that one. Go through the bars. Very good, and now we just got to race for it, I think. Avoid the blocks, because those slow us down. We got, like, foot speed right now. Oh, shit, we just barely... Uh, okay, so that's what we got to do. I got stuck on the little uh, merry-go-round, though. Got stuck on the merry-go-round. We got this this time, but we got to be fleet of foot. We got to be fleet of foot. If we're not fleet of foot, this ain't going to work. And so I got to line up just perfectly with the door this way because I don't want to get stuck on the wall. The viewpoint sometimes causes me to run in directions I don't really want to. Come on, haul-ass girl. You can make it. Oh, the choo-choo's in the wrong spot. Go through, go through, go through. 
Yeah, buddy, we made it. All right, so that's another room down. Can these doors be pushed open? Please tell me these doors can't be pushed open. I don't want to deal with that right now. Why would there be, like, a child's play place next to an insane asylum? Like, why is that? This seems like a, a marked, terrible management idea. The hell? Is it like Medusa's eye? Does it turn me to stone? It looks like it turns things to stone. Alright, well, let's keep going. I don't need to test that booby trap out. I do, however, need this checkpoint, so let's get that. Cool little game, though. I'm really liking it so far. Very stylistically intact. Alright, so it looks like the next place we need to go... ...is through there. wonder what I do here. So one of those little things is in a cage right there. Doesn't look like there's a way around, but he does have a vent behind him. One of those boxes is slightly pulled outwards. Maybe I can climb up the... Maybe I can climb up the chain link right here? I can. Okay. Can I drop down from right here? Or is that too far? It's worth a shot. Yeah, I can actually. Let's see what's up in here. Oh, that's definitely bloodstains on the floor. Hey, buddy. You want to be friends? I cuddle you. I cuddle you into submission. As a little girl, my only power is cuddles, apparently. an eyeball thing right there. Maybe those are like secrets. Like you gotta find all their little lairs and give them all hugs. Maybe that's what it is. They're just like collectibles, essentially. <laughs> I feel kind of bad of, about using another creature as a collectible for my own progress, but you know what? I think I can come around to it. I just gotta give me some time to deal with the fact that I'm taking like a sentient being and reducing their personality down to like a collectible for an achievement in a game, you know what I mean? Existential moment, ho! I'm not calling you a ho, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that, baby. Please forgive me. Uh, let me guess. One of these is going to be open. Yep. Who would have guessed? There's another statue right there. What do the statues do, I wonder? There's pictures of the eye. I wonder if the eye won't mess with this thing. Apparently, I'm supposed to break it. Something just happened, and the game saved when I broke it, so... I don't know. Was there any, like, means of movement over here under the bed or on the bed or anything like that? No. Whatever it was went under the bed, so maybe I should not do that. But I wanted to slide in some goop. You can't tell me that your dreams don't revolve around sliding in goop. Mine do. All of my dreams have to do with that. It's like, dream, can I slide in goop? Check mark yes to, next to yes. Well, then I guess this is a good dream. I sort of want to jump for that thing right there, but I don't know if there's any point. There's a bunch of them hanging. kind of curious about this. I'm not sure what they want me to do right here. Like, there's definitely something that I'm not seeing.
Do any of these doors open? No, none of these doors open. Huh. Well, there it is. I get turned to stone. Cool little game, man. Little Nightmares. Kind of an interesting little puzzle platforming horror game that you should definitely be checking out right now if it hasn't been on your radar. I'm going to continue fiddling with this puzzle as per usual. If you like what I showed off here today, leave lots of likes and comments and I'll take that into account and we might do like a full playthrough or something like that. It just kind of depends on what I think is crowd play. You know, I never even checked this door over here that was super obvious and easy to get through. You know that? Damn it, I'm over here like fiddling around with shit, and I could have just walked through a door. My name is Splattercat, I show off indie games every single day. I hope you guys like what I do, I will continue to do it tomorrow. So, if you liked what you saw here today, I've always got... Oh shit. What the fuck is that thing? Damn, you ugly. Ugh. Yeah, if you like indie games, this is the channel to be at. I play indie games every single day to get them out to you and let you know what's going on in the indie scene so that you can have a super awesome selection of games to fiddle around with every single day. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Bye-bye, everybody.